Hello everybody, welcome back to the Metal Scrap channel. Today I will cast a bronze. It's a navy bronze, specially designed for uh, yeah being outdoors. I uh, want to do a project in the future uh, which will be placed outdoors, if I succeed of course. And the recipe I got from someone I follow on Instagram. He is uh, studying uh, metals, so really awesome. And the recipe is as follows. I got 60% copper, so that will be 1800 grams of copper. I got 1170 grams of zinc, that's 39% and I got 1% of tin. So I'm going to make two batches of them. Um, this is a little bit too much zinc but uh, I have a uh, bar where I cut it off so yeah this is just uh, I'm, I'm happy with this is 32 grams happy with that. I think I make one batch putting the copper and the zinc and the uh, tin if it's possible in with one go and I think I'll make one batch I'll melt the copper first and then add the zinc and the tin later on I got a uh, four kilo crucible inside here but not sure if everything is going to fit the bar is supposed to be well this is 3000 grams of metal um, not sure how much we will lose it's awesome weather the spring is really coming so really happy with that chickens are uh, eating so let's start up the furnace and make some bronze ingots Okay, so the first batch, um, yeah, it doesn't fit in the crucible that well. But I will f uh, first try a batch melding the zinc together with the copper and the uh, tin. I think, yeah, the uh, lowest melting point is, I guess, from tin. And then uh, the zinc starts to melt. And it takes a lot of, a lot higher temperature to melt the copper. So I'm a little bit afraid a lot of zinc will burn off. But we'll see. And the second batch I will edit uh, when the copper is melted. And then you will have a final reaction. So yeah, let's see uh, how big the difference is between those two uh, batches. Here we go.
Okay guys, so hmm, there was a uh, zinc explosion or something, I'm not sure, I uh, put it in two ingots of course, and suddenly it uh, got really violent, so the bottom of the crucible is still uh, full of, oh wait a minute, shoo, 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 hey, weg, 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 Right, I uh, got to remove the chickens because otherwise they will burn themselves. Um, the bottom of the crucible is still full of uh, copper that has already been solidified. So I got to remelt this um, ingot, I think. 
got one good ingot and one yeah that's uh, probably uh, just a kilo or something i think the other one will be two and a half kilos but yeah i'll i'll think i'll remelt this together with the um, copper and add a tiny bit of uh, zinc mix it up so i think the best way is to uh, melt it um, all together it gives a lot of smoke and flames but much safer i guess so now we know that too i already uh, mixed one uh, time before there was the uh, nordic gold wait for the chickens come on go away don't want them to burn something so normally i have them in the coop but come on come on go away they're a little bit hungry so got a lot of food uh, over here but yeah uh got me quite scared i think i captured it on camera look at the mayhem around the furnace and inside it's a mess too so hmm. i think there was a, li a little bit of zinc uh, flowing over the edge inside the uh, furnace with yeah has a direct open flame so that's uh, pretty dangerous happy uh, nothing uh, serious uh, happened um yeah i'll just get it out and see if it's a little bit normal color like the other one and then uh, i think i'll conclude this video yeah let's uh, clean up the both bars and see if there's a um, yeah I, I think it's uh, pretty light over there so yeah it's a failure all right um next time i uh, will remelt it in the um crucible with has some copper left and a tiny bit of zinc i think and then stir it up not really uh fond of uh, making alloys yeah i i love aluminium bronze but this is just yeah whenever it contains zinc or brass or zinc or tin hmm, not like it all right i'll clean this up and show if there's a big difference between them but i think it's not yeah comparable okay so i just quenched the bars off camera one successful bar i guess so this is the um, second cast half as thick so there's a lot of uh, metal uh, stuck in the crucible and left in the furnace so i first gotta clean that stuff up but i'll uh, give these a wire brush and compare if these are the same color if these those are the same color i will keep this and probably mix up the um, left of copper with a little bit of zinc i'm going to estimate how much zinc there was lost in the furnace and add the, the yeah probably uh, the the amount that was missing so let's uh, clean it up and see if we have uh, but I, yeah i think this one is pretty light so i'll show you end results after cleaning there's one chicken it's morty but yeah um this is the first bar this is the color of the first bar came out pretty well really uh, pleased with the first bar it's a nice color and this will be for a cast that will be placed outside and this uh, should be uh, pretty weather resistant and this is the second cast yeah half a bar so we got still half in the crucible did not really uh, mix up uh, yeah because it was just uh, one big mess and i just had to pour it and i thought the complete crucible was liquid but there was a lot of overspill inside my furnace so hmm, yeah so to compare them almost the same color this one is not a lot lighter or something with a tiny uh, bit of uh, yeah not not well mixed metal and this one don't doesn't have that so overall i think uh, both bars can be used as the same metal don't see any color difference if you think you can see what uh, see it maybe on camera it shows a little bit i'm not sure but in real life no i think those are the same metals so maybe i uh, just remelt the uh, uh, leftover in the crucible pour it out and see what it is but first i need to clean the, the inside of the furnace and uh, see how much metal there was splashed over so that's uh, for another day i'll uh, make some end shots and that will conclude the video i will weigh the totals when i'm done with this project so stay tuned to my channel for the total weights there's some night weight on it
All right, so guys, I did uh, another pour. Um, looks quite different than the other ingots. I added some zinc and copper. Not sure of the ratios between them because my uh, scales uh, battery is empty. But let's see what we made of this. I'll cool this off, clean that, and um, compare to the other two. Right, so I did clean it, but it's yeah, this doesn't look like a bronze, this looks like a, a copper bar. But hmm, the backside is a little bit yellow. I did stir it uh, though, and if compare it to the other bars, this is quite red and this is yellow. You can clearly see a difference, so not sure. Maybe I didn't have to add the uh, piece of copper, but nevertheless, I'm going to uh, put all these bars in a big crucible for a future custom project so I think uh, the metal uh, will uh, mix uh, some better and then we'll probably have the same color so not going to uh, look at that all right so uh, yeah I could not stand uh, not making uh, all the metal so this is it and too bad my skills are totally empty so I cannot measure it and again hope you guys like this video if so please give this video a thumbs up leave a comment don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to see a mailing video every week now uh, over to some to some end shots and stay tuned to my channel to see what I will be making out of this. Thanks for watching, have a great week, bye bye! bye.